could happen under under an umbrella tree sunny days of thunder your friends are waiting under under the umbrella tree so come on everybody see you up at holidays there's no better place to be in your imagination you'll find an invitation under the umbrella tree Arthur brought his knights to his castle at Camelot and from that day on they were known as Knights of the Round Table. Wow, neat oh. <laughs> if they'd had a square table, would they be called that? Knights of the Square Table? Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> I suppose so. Knights in armor. I wish I'd lived then. Take that, you dastardly dragon! It must really have been exciting to go around fighting off evil magicians and rescuing people. At least my great, 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 <gasps> great, great, great grandfather always said it was. How would he know? He was a knight. Someone in your family was a knight in shining armor, Jacob? Uh-huh. His name was Sir Jacob of Blue. I was named after him. <laughs> he used to go around chasing dragons and, and saving people in distress. All that sort of stuff. Really? Why didn't you ever tell us about him before? You never asked me. I think you're making ah. it up, Jacob. I am not, and I can prove it. It's all in my memory box. I'll, I'll show you. Memory um, box? Uh, now, where is it? Oh. Ha! Jacob forgot his memory box. <laughs> I, I, I know I put it somewhere. Now, Jacob, is that the box that has the carving all over it that you asked me to put away somewhere safe? Yeah, that's it. Okay, I know where it is. You just wait here. I'll go and get it. Oh, someplace safe, he said. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, there we go. Oh, it's a bit heavy. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Wow, Jacob, you weren't fooling. What a great-looking box. What's in it? Why is it called a memory box? Well, because everyone in my family always puts a feather in it to remember them by. Yeah, open it up, Hall. Huh? Oh, sure. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, they are like that one. Oh. Huh. That's from my great-grandfather's flying hat. He was an ace pilot. They called him the Blue Baron. I thought that was the Red Baron. No, that's somebody else. Oh, well now who's this? Oh, yeah, that's his picture. What a bird. Huh. And that's his feather. Wow. And, and, and there, and there, that belonged to my great Aunt Bluebell. Is that her picture? Ooh, uh-huh. She was a singer. She sang the blue. Don't you mean the blues? No. Uh, let me see. What else is in here, Jacob? Oh, now who's this? Oh, that's the great explorer, Sir George Van Bluver. They named a whole city after him. Oh, yeah, Van Bluver. That's in the West. I thought that was Vancouver. Uh, well, now, Jacob, what about this however many times great-grandfather, Sir whatever of whatever? Sir Jacob of Blue, the one I was named after. Now, now, just a second. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, this? Uh-huh. Oh. Is that his shield? That's right. He carried that on all his adventures. Do you know about them? Sure. Everybody in my family knows. Aren't you going to tell us? What, now? Oh, absolutely. I can't wait to hear this story. Mm -hmm. Did he ever rescue anybody from deep, dark, dangerous castles? Only about 20 zillion hundred times. So tell us. Okay. <clears throat> now, this is the tale of that great and noble knight of old, my 20 times great-grandfather, the mighty hero, Sir Jacob of Blue. Did I mention I was named after him? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Well, I was. Anyway, one day, about 700 years ago, I think it was a Tuesday, about noon, 
Sir Jacob was getting bored. He hadn't chased a monster or rescued anybody in months. No, so he decided he'd go on a quest. A quest? What's that? Oh, it's like a long trip to look for something. Yeah, hm. I knew that. Anyway, that's what Sir Jacob decided to do. And in a few days, he was ready to go. I'm leaving now, Mom. See you in a few years. Oh, wait, don't go yet. I made you a dragon butter sandwich. Oh, Mom, I'm not a baby. I knew that. I'm the big grown-up knight. You're not supposed to make my lunch anymore. Oh, one sandwich, that's all here. All right. Now go quest. Mm -hmm. oh. Be careful. Don't forget to write. Oh, I won't. Bye. Goodbye, dear. So noble Sir Jacob set out on his quest. He was looking for adventure, and he meant to find it. He traveled far, and he traveled wide. Huh. He crossed deep rivers and high mountains. He went through places no bird had ever seen before. And everywhere he went, he looked for dangerous deeds to do. Hello, this is valiant Sir Jacob of Blue calling. Anybody in there need rescuing? No thanks. Try the castle up the road. We hear there's an evil wizard there. Thanks, I will. But it turned out the evil wizard was on holiday. So noble Sir Jacob had to keep going, and so he did. He passed through more woods and crossed more rivers and more mountains and more unknown places, but he still couldn't find any adventure. Uh-uh. Until finally, one day, he came to a... Um, he ca Finally, one day, he came to, um... To, um... Uh, he came to... To a what? Uh, to a... I can't remember. Oh. oh, no. You have to. I always forget right here. Well, now, maybe we can help you. Um, what do knights usually come to in a story? Oh, okay. Um, um, uh, uh, a person being chased by evil monsters. No. No. Okay. Um, um, a cave door guarded by mystical magicians. Oh, good one. No. No. Oh. A crossroads. That's it. Huh. Did I tell you this story already, Holly? Just a guess. Anyway, he came to a crossroads. Then what? Ah, uh, well, let's see. Uh, okay, I got it. And at the crossroads, there was a magic stone. So brave Sir Jacob tapped it three times with his shield and asked which way he should go to find adventure. And the stone said... If you go to the left, there will be none. If you go to the right, you might find some. If you stay where you are, I'll be your chum. But make up your mind, you're blocking my son. Oh, uh, oh well, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, uh, thank you. You're welcome. So, off to the right. <gasps> I mean, uh, off to the right flew bold Sir Jacob, certain that now... After all this time, his long quest for adventure was nearing the end. And sure enough, after a few miles, he saw something under a tree. A strange figure dressed in rags. Brave Sir Jacob put up his shield and prepared to defend himself against this mysterious creature because it could be an evil wizard in disguise. No, don't hurt me, please, gallant knight, please. Oh, no, you don't. You don't fool me. I know that you're really in disguise, aren't you? Very well, I admit it. I'm not what I look like. Ah, I knew it. Come clean, whoever you are. I? I'm Lady Flyella de Bird. Oh, oh, you are? Yes, and my father is the rightful lord of all these woods. He is? Oh, your servant, your ladyship. <coughs> oh. I never expected that. But why was she in disguise? Because she was in distress, huh? right, Jacob? 
She was hiding from the evil duke, right? He ta he's taken away her father's land, right, Jacob? And he wanted to marry her. And I'll Who's telling this story anyway, Gloria? It's my relative. Sorry. Keep going. Okay. Well, Lady Flyella told Sir Jacob that her father's worst enemy, the evil duke of Doublebeak, had taken over the castle and thrown everyone in the dungeon. Yeah, and she was running away from him before he could force her to marry him. That's what I said. But you didn't say the worst thing of all. And the worst thing of all is he's captured the golden bird bath. The golden bird bath? You mean? Yes. Whoever owns the golden bird bath <gasps> rules the country. <gasps> and now it's fallen into the hands <sighs> of the evil Duke of Doublebeak. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Now oh. I know why I crossed all those mountains and deserts and rivers. Oh. This is the glorious deed I must do. I must regain the golden bird bath. Which way is the castle, Lady Flayella? That way, but you're not. All by yourself? You can't. I can. Excuse me, please. I'm off to fight the evil Duke of Doublebeak. Oh. But how? Oh. Wait, I'm coming too. Oh, oh. oh uh, <laughs> Sorry, but hey, wait, that's it. That's what we'll do. I think I've just invented the, uh, I've just invented the, um, the uh, what? The, um, um, well, what do you call those things again that, that bend way back and throw things? A catapult. That's it. Sir Jacob had just invented the catapult. Lady Flyella bent a tree back and placed a boulder on it. Then they got ready. When we let go, the tree will spring forward, and this boulder will fly over the wall of the castle and knock out the evil Duke of Doublebeak. Ready? Let it go. All righty. Unfortunately, Sir Jacob didn't know that his belt was caught on a branch. Help! And he got catapulted right over the castle along with the boulder. Oh no, this is terrible. He's in there all by himself, just one bird against a whole flock. Oh, he hasn't got a chance. Oh. She's right. He'll lose. There's no way. I'll bet he wins. How? It's impossible. You're almost right, Iggy. Huh? Except for one thing. What? After bold Sir Jacob shot through the hole in the wall, he landed right in the golden bird bath, and its magic powers gave him the strength of a thousand birds. He fought and fought and fought until he defeated the evil Duke of Doublebeak and won the country back for Lady Flyella and her father. Oh, way to go, Sir Jake. Ah, uh, thanks, Lady Flyella. Is there any reward that I can give you? Reward? Mm. Oh, let me think. Um, uh, well, yes, there is one thing I want more than anything else in the world. To marry me? Oh, mm. well, okay, but first I'd like a dragon butter sandwich. I'm really hungry. What a great story. You're really lucky to have someone like that in your family, Jake. I know. <laughs> Did I tell you I was named after him? Yes. Yes. There's one thing that I don't understand. How did you know that he was going to win, Holly? Oh, oh. well, that was easy. Oh. I mean, if he hadn't won, he wouldn't have been able to marry Lady Flyella. Mm -hmm. And if he hadn't married Lady Flyella, they wouldn't have had children. And if they hadn't had children, then their children wouldn't have had children. Mm -hmm. And... He couldn't be Jake's 20 times great-grandfather. Oh, ah. right. I never thought of that. <laughs> Boy, you came pretty close to not being here, Jacob. <laughs> That's right. I never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs>